We're excited to celebrate Harps Green Space and Ride Bikes More here in Houston, Texas for the first annual Houston Art Bike Parade. And I am here with Ricky. Yeah. Remember to follow on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube if you're not already because it makes you feel good. Uh, we're here, man, for the first ever Houston Art Bike Festival. We've been playing this thing for about three years. We're finally at a chance now where we can see all the great creativity from the kids and the students of HISD. We were fortunate enough to have like over 200 bikes donated. And so the students have now created, along with their teachers, we created a curriculum. It's going down. So we're just so excited to be here, man. It's, it's a super fun time. We're really, we're looking for creativity. You know, we want to see how the bikes will transform and the imagination of the students and how they ap applied what they learned in the classroom to a mobile work of art. Bikes are way more accessible um, for students. And so this is a great way to have them express their creativity. All over, it's from steel, textile, recycled materials. Some of the students actually welded pieces to their bikes and put it together. So it's out of control. We don't know what we see. We've got over 500 entries. So it's Hermesilac, H-E-R-M-E-S-I-L-L-A-C, baby. With Nicole Romano, and remember, we're going to raise bicycle awareness one person at a time. Uh, we have the art car parade. Everyone knows about that. And so kind of building on the success of that, we, the Houston Parks Board, uh, partnered with the Orange Show Center for Visionary Art and HISD, Houston Independent School District, specifically their Fine Arts Department. Um, we donated about 250 bikes to them two years ago to decorate themselves and be part of this day. Finally having this event today, it is in three locations, McGregor Park where we are right now, and then Fondy Park, which is down the Greenway Trail, and then in Smither Park. And so. There's a parade inside the McGregor right now, and then the group will head over to Fondy where there's some more fun activities, face painting, food, drinks, all sorts of stuff. And then the party will end at Smither Park where there'll be a, an award ceremony. Um, and the beautiful thing about this event and all three locations is that it's connected by Braze Bayou Greenway Trail. And so the Houston Parks Board uh, is a place where we are connecting all the Bayou Greenways trails. And so you can get to where you need to today just on a bike. You don't need a car. And so we're all about that green infrastructure, you know, helping people get from one place to another, the connectivity of Houston without you having to have a car. So we're excited to celebrate parks, green space, and you know, free, reliable, safe transportation. So they have about 10 categories, and HISD students, uh, the top 10, they're, they're different categories. Some of them are like, show your school spirit. Some are things like most colorful. Um, they'll each be given, they or their school will be given a $500 gift certificate at the award ceremony. And then there are three community awards, and those are more like bragging rights. So that next year when they come back, they can be like, I won last year. Um, and those are like trophies and like some free little giveaways. Artbikehouston.com. Um, that's where we have the schedule, the routes, um, pictures, the way to register. And it is an annual event. So next year, definitely there will be another push and everyone can register. You don't have to be a student. You don't have to be an HISD. You can bring your art bike. You can participate. We're going to see lots of fun things out there today. Um, and I hope everybody can get excited for next year. Um, there are some event sponsors that we're grateful for. That includes Gensler, Clark Condon, William Sterling, um, Port Houston. And then we also, the city of Houston is really our biggest partner um, for the Houston Parks Board and specifically the Houston Parks and Recreation Department. Um, they're our, our biggest partner, our sister organization. Without them, we can't do much, but um, we're grateful to them. They helped get McGregor and Fondy looking top notch today for the event and every day. Their hardworking crews are out here all the time. Um, so we're grateful for the city, we're grateful to Harris County, we work hand-in-hand -hand with the county as well. Um, there are some elected officials here today, Mayor Turner, one of our biggest supporters and fans, um, as well as Commissioner Ellis, Rodney Ellis in Precinct 1, and then some other council members that are showing up that are, are also very friendly to our organization. So we're, we're grateful for everybody and all the community partners that are here. You'll probably see some of the tents, there's a lot of activations happening, some face painting activities. You can learn more about the McGregor. Um, Park master plan study that we've recently undergone. So there's just, there's something for everyone here today, especially the kids and families. I do want to say special thank you to Murphy for holding the camera today. Murphy. I really appreciate that. I could not have said it better. For Ride Bikes More, I'm Luke and we are out.